engineers need to use vector calculus to compute fluid flows and electromagnetic waves. I'm Jeff Chasnov, and I'm a professor of mathematics. I teach math to engineering students, and most of them take a course on vector calculus. Vector calculus is sometimes called multivariable calculus or calculus 3. You should have already taken calculus 1 and 2 and learned single variable calculus. Vector calculus expands the world of a single variable to three dimensions. We all know that the real world is three-dimensional, so to solve problems as an engineer, you have to learn calculus in three dimensions. In this course, we'll cover the algebra of vectors and how to represent these vectors in different coordinate systems. Also, how to differentiate and integrate vectors. You probably want to know how engineers actually use vector calculus. Well, the physics equations underlying the whole of engineering are written in the language of vector calculus. Let me give you a few examples. A cell phone tower radiates electromagnetic waves in three dimensions. And these waves can be described by Maxwell's equations written in the language of vector calculus. Cars, planes, and rockets operate in the fluid that we call air. Ships and submarines operate in the fluid that we call water. And to understand the basic principles of fluid mechanics, you need to study the Navier-Stokes equations, also written in the language of vector calculus. Let me tell you how my course is organized. My lectures will be given on a light board, so I can talk to you directly as I explain the mathematics. After each lecture, I'll give you a few problems to solve so that you can practice what you've learned. And after each topic, I'll give you a practice quiz. At the end of each week, there'll be a graded quiz Pass each of these quizzes to pass the course and be eligible for a course certificate. So how do airplanes fly? How are racing cars designed? And how does your phone get reception? Use vector calculus in your engineering courses to figure all of this out. I'll help you get started. Join me in Vector Calculus for Engineers.